Bonjour. I'm going to turn you around. Right, I'm going to cook. I like cooking. This is my tiny little kitchen, but I like it. I'm doing a fillet of steak just here. It's at uh, well at room temperature. Um, bone marrow because I'm making a sauce. The key to this is uh, is the sauce. Anyone can cook a steak. Um, I'm doing some chips. I'm going to cook my own. I've got some Mary's Pipers. I'm going to parboil them myself. I suppose they're potato skins. And then I'm going to chuck them in my very expensive roasting tin uh, with... I was going to go sunflower oil, but I've decided to go cold pressed rapeseed oil. Turn this racket off. Be quiet. Yeah, cold pressed rapeseed oil. Because um, obviously rapeseed oil has got a higher burning temperature than olive oil. You can't use olive oil in the oven. Um, I have some beef stock, uh, which is Heston's beef stock. Um, I have some red rinds. It's uh, Bordeaux or something glaze sauce. Um, and then for the sauce, there's a couple of bay leaves uh, to finish it off some parsley. And then from my herb garden, I have, I shall use some of my thyme. At the back there's some Welsh onion. And then with the, with the thyme is um, chives, uh, rosemary over there. I got some tomatoes over there. So yeah, so it's basically steak and chips with a um, Bordelais sauce um, and then a few vegetables just to keep it healthy so I'm going to put the potatoes on to uh, boil them um, I want them 50% cooked and then the bit I hate I'm going to leave the skins on but you have to then slice them up um, into wedges I've got a couple of knives I've got this one which I quite like and then I took it out of its packet because I um, got bored of it. But I've got this one, which is also one of my favourite knives. Uh, the trouble is, a small kitchen, you've got to be sort of prepared. I've got to sh chop up the shallots for the sauce. Uh, bone marrow, you just put it in the oven um, and then scrape it out and just put it in the, force, in the sauce to finish. And then it says, look, I thought I'd thrown this away, but I have a uh, cast iron griddle pan, which I'm just gonna wash up before use because I've not used it for a while. So we'll see how I get on. Stay tuned, keep watching. I don't like the ejector. <coughs> right, a little bit further in. Right Onions the chopped. Bone marrow package open. Steaks still sitting there. Spuds boiling away. I've been on it for about five minutes. Um, so we're getting there. I'm not. Might not have to use this knife. I've uh, used this one. It's a bit, a bit easier. Still got the uh, frying pan in soak. I'm quite nervous. I'm going to get the wine open now uh, because it says that you should, you need to, uh, there's a French word for it, but you need to aerate it. Um, so you, I, I haven't got one of those fancy things where when you pour it, the air goes into the wine if you like, and as you're pouring it, it aerates the wine. But um, I think if I take the cork out, it'll be all right. Just to, I won't be needing it for about roughly. 45 50 minutes so the next thing i'll do is get the uh cork out and have a quick slurp so looking good and uh fingers crossed it tastes good right i'm getting there chips are nearly cooked looking good nice crispy bits didn't shake them but nice and crispy um the blah, 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 blah. bone marrow is in the oven i say the chops are slopped butter's ready I've opened up the wine, I've had a uh, quick slurp, it's not bad. Mm. 
yeah not bad wine never tastes the same at home um that's the make and it's from bordeaux from uh, saint emilion which is the region um so yeah i've seasoned the steaks they're well up to room temperature they're fillets he um the recipe says use well sirloins well sirloin predominantly or rump but I didn't like the look of the sirloins in the uh, supermarket so I went for a couple of fillets. I thought that was all one but annoyingly it's two but it doesn't matter. Right, not easy to do this bit with the video. So I have to get my butter about that much. If the griddle pan is glowing hot and then Rush it over the uh, griddle, and then no, the griddle pan doesn't like my rush. Put my steaks in. I've got all my windows open. Right. Quick wait. I'm going to open my loft pack from the grill. This is my extractor fan. Thanks, John. Glowing hot. I'm going to season the other side of my steak. You'll have to excuse the filming, but... Um, can't be able to. I've got all my windows open. I might open the kitchen one a bit more whilst you're watching the steaks. Don't they look beautiful? Looking good. Turn them over. Well, about another half a minute. No, I'm going to turn them over. Nice colour to them. A couple of minutes on this side, then take them off and let the rest. Now I've got this plate, which is the same size as this plate. I'm going to rest them on there. They'll be on there for a good few minutes. The plates are at room temperature. I don't put them in the oven. But I've got to let them rest. As you can see from this side, it's still pink underneath. So, um, I can't, I desperately don't want to uh, bodge up the steaks. This is the butter I use. It's not spreadable from the fridge, but it's it's a French butter, and the rest of it is French. Um, I've got my water back on. I've not drained the water from the um, potatoes, which are pretty much cooked now. Um, and I think I'm going to take the. Uh, I'm going to take out. No room in here. I'm going to take out the bone marrow. I might put it on top of the hot because it's going to be hot. Very hot. And I might actually turn the oven off. Just get rid of the heat. That's all cooked. Lots of fat coming off. Not easy to put down if I'm honest. I have to go up here. Beauty of having a nice big kitchen with a central island. Pour in a glug, glug of wine. 
is very hot now, so I'm going to have to use quite a lot. Mmm, sticking a bit. Thyme and bay leaves. <coughs> right, turn it down actually, because all that while is just evaporating. Completely. And finally chop shallots, then pour in some well reduced beef. And in my chopped shallots. I don't mind onions, so I'm going to use a lot. And then um, as that's reducing, I'm going to give it a minute to reduce because there's a lot of wine in there now. I might just let the shallots sink in the wine. Turn the time out a bit. So you're washing it. Rude. <coughs> and then add in some of the beef stock. Right, I've got to let that reduce quite a lot. Right, I'm quite uh, pleased actually. Uh, I couldn't film it, but I've scraped out the bone marrow from the bone, which is in here. I didn't chop it because it's quite loose. It does say chop it. I've just added some butter just to give a nice glisten and a rich flavour to the sauce. Um, I shall break up the bone marrow with the uh, thingy. And now I've got to leave that for about a few minutes just to uh, reduce a bit more to give it an intense flavour. I'm quite looking forward to it. I've got the peas and the beans on. Which my son, who is who are you suddenly talking from? Has delegated oh, God. Go on, there you go. There you are. The dog. Pipe down. And then just to give you an idea, these are the chips. Well, I'm just, just draining off. Nice and crispy sounding. So, uh, looking forward to eating them. I'm going to uh, sprinkle them with a little bit of uh, rock soak. Uh, won't put any pepper on there because I've seasoned. I don't, I don't think you need pepper. I do sometimes. But uh, you can see the glistening rock salt. Started to clean up the pot, so it's all coming together now. Just the cleaning up and washing up. Um, I might give a little taste test. You can watch. I did use this to scrape out the bone marrow, so probably not the best thing to use. Here it goes. It's always best to taste, because if it doesn't taste good, you're about to put it on your expensive steak. You made a mistake. Mmm, not bad. Can taste the bone marrow. Mmm. I'm quite pleased with that. Let it reduce a bit. It can reduce quite a lot more, it doesn't matter. Because bone marrow is pretty much fat. Well, it's bone marrow, but I think it's a fat. I don't know. But heating it up will it'll reduce down and just uh, go within the sauce but that's quite nice it is quite a loose sauce it's not meant to be massively uh, thick yeah very nice 
And a bloody mess, uh, excuse the French, but a mess that it makes all around your house cooking like this. But I'm not, I'm quite pleased with the room that I've got. And I've used a lot of that wine. There's a, about a glass and, and a bit in there. And later. I started visiting vineyards and I started really enjoying the culture and the food. And I bet the there's a lot of, of residual juice and under here. So yeah, there is. Persuaded me to, to move to the, the dark side, of, like of, of actually being involved in a vineyard, which is a, a little bit mad. I to say. need my knife, fork. Very seriously, and there's a lovely in tender. Charles, who's in the wine business, to be tasted. Goes right through, so I'm really pleased that they're going to be cooked all right. I'm just going to do a few slices. <laughs> So they're well rested. That's the biggest one. It's nice and pink in the middle. So that's fine. It's a fillet steak. Sauce is done. Plate up. Get rid of this. Um, spoon. Put some of my vegetables on. Part of my five a day. I'm a pig, so I eat a lot. And then I shall put a few of my uh, chips on. Like so. And then I'm going to attempt to pour it because I can't really get it over any other way. Making a bit of a mess, but put that back on there. Delicious. So I put the sauce on. I've got my steak, my vegetables, my chips, and then the sauce on the side, um, and we'll give it a well, see what it. Now, I'm going to eat it, obviously. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, probably a messy put together. I don't care. I'm, I put these videos up for my purpose. Uh, and if somebody else enjoys them or gets inspired to go cooking, drive a Ferrari, moan, then brilliant. Um, I was going to go out and cook, but this is a Rick Stein recipe, by the way. He did it when he did his um, uh, weekend away. Um, serious. This was from 2007 when he went to Bordeaux. So it's a French recipe. So as I say, really appreciate you watching. If you like, uh, like and subscribe. Um, put comments, good or bad. Love to hear your opinions. Um, and thank you for watching. Have a great evening, stroke afternoon, stroke morning.